church some kind of virtual state assembly. Join in where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together as we enter into the house of the Lord forever. Returning back to Pentecost. Returning back to Pentecost. So on behalf of Bishop Clara K. Butler and State Elder Elijah Green and the pastors of tonight, we welcome you to enjoy where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. We seek miracles, signs, and wonders on Facebook Live on tonight. We give God the praise. We give him the glory. He is worthy to be praised. We bless your name, God. We lift you up. We exalt your name. We thank you, oh God. We love you, oh God. Hallelujah to the most high God. Thank you, God. Praise our God. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy of all the glory, all the honor, all the glory, all the honor, all the glory, all the honor. It belongs to your Lord. It belongs to your Lord. We bless your name on tonight. We bless your name today. Even during the pandemic, we bless you. We bless you today. Thank the Lord. We bless you, God, for healing, for miracles, for signs and wonders, back to Pentecost, kneeling, praying, giving God the glory. We are giving God the praise, and we're going to lift him up in the midst of it all. We're going to give God the glory in the midst of it all. We're going to do what we have to do to get what God has for us. The breakthrough that God has for us is on the way. Hallelujah. We praise God. We thank you, oh God. We lift you, Jesus. We lift you high above us. There's nobody greater than you, God. Nobody greater than you, God. Nobody greater than you, God. We searched all over. Can't find nobody. Nobody that's greater than you, Lord. Nobody. Nobody but you, Lord. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Lift you up, Jesus. We lift you up. Hallelujah. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. You deserve our praise. You deserve our glory. You deserve our honor. You deserve everything. That everything that has wealth. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. In the sanctuary. In the sanctuary of your heart, in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul. We bless your name. We bless your name. We lift you up high. We lift you up high. Thank you, Lord. Now we will have our call to worship by State Elder Elijah Green. Do honor our chief overseer, our Zion State Bishop, our call to worship, our grave and his sit unto me. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all your land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come upon his brother with saying.
Even though, Lord, I, 
uh, we don't have a big crowd. Uh, well, you said you'll be amongst us anyhow. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, have mercy tonight. Uh, send favor and grace among us, Lord. Uh, touch the speakers tonight. Uh, oh, God, uh, I'm overseer. Uh, bless her right now. Uh, our state bishop, Lord. Uh, your elders and state elders everywhere. Uh, but right now, Lord, uh, right now, Lord, uh, let your light from the lighthouse uh, shine on us. Uh, touch your people, Lord. Uh, bless the musicians, Lord. Uh, bless the speaker of the hour, Lord. Uh, I know you're able, Lord. Uh, send COVID-19, uh, coronavirus, uh, back to the pits of hell. Uh, we don't need it, Lord. Uh, we want to come to your house uh, in numbers, Lord. Uh, David said, I love the house, Lord. Lord, uh, we love the house of God. Uh, Fill the ground in the truth, Lord. Uh, send a word uh, to heal the nation, Lord. Uh, we're going to humble ourselves and pray. Uh, turn from any wickedness, Lord. Uh, and you hear our cry. Uh, hear our cry, Lord. Uh, hear our cry, Lord. Uh, how long, uh, how long, Lord? Uh, bless you, people, suffer. Uh, bless us tonight. Uh, give us traveling mercy, Lord. Uh, back to our home, Lord. Uh, those that coming, uh, give them traveling mercy. Yes, yes, Lord, we know you're able, Lord. You got the power, you got the glory, Lord. I'm yours, Lord, everything I am. We are here to magnify you. We are here to glorify you. Speak to the preacher tonight. Speak to the bishop tonight. And now, Lord, now, 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 Lord, the praying day is over. Praise the name day is over. Shouting day is over. We were a home, so in thy kingdom. He's blessed you ask in Jesus' holy name and for his sake. Amen. C.K. Butler, presiding state bishop of South Carolina, North Carolina, and Indiana. Everyone is welcome to the house of God church. Even though God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, our God is a God of many colors. He is Lord of all. He loves everyone. And we do too. A special shout out tonight to our South Carolina State Musicians President, Brother Anthony Fox, who is in the hospital. We really miss him and we love him. And we ask that you continue to lift him up, not only throughout this state assembly, but keep praying for him until the Lord send him back home. Tonight, 
I want to ask you the same question that the Apostle Paul asked in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts. Having passed through the upper course of Ephesus and finding certain disciples there, he asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Paul said unto them, what then were you baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. Paul began to explain that John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them and they spat, hallelujah, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. That takes us back to Pentecost. In the 10th chapter of Acts, Peter was preaching over at Cornelius' house how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. And that through his name, Whosoever believed in him shall receive, shall receive remission of sins, forgiveness of sins. The Bible says while Peter yet spoke these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them which heard the word, and the Jews which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know that the Gentiles had received the gift of the Holy Ghost? And we find the act, we find the answer in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter and the 46th verse. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. And as we go back through Pentecost, Acts 2 and 4, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Mark 16 and 17, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils in my name? Shall they speak with new tongues in order to to be saved, you must first repent, pray, and work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. You must look to Jesus in faith. You must look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. How he bled how he died on the cross. Yes, that you might be saved and have a right to the tree of life. You must become godly sorry for your sins and be fully ready, fully ready, fully ready to lay them down at the feet of Jesus to take them up no more. You shall receive power. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Yes. Hallelujah. Take unto you the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved and the cry was made
repent, 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 repent. The kingdom of God is at hand.
to God. Hallelujah. That's his signature song. Sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary. Sanctuary, 
especially to our young people. We thank God for the, another night in this grand state assembly. Thing being, let's return to Pentecost in the face of this pandemic. And I have a couple of scriptures that I would like to read. First being Psalms 11 and 3, 2 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20, and last but not least, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. May the Lord ever have a blessing to his holy word. Psalms 11 and 3, and it reads, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? First Corinthians 9, 6, 19, and 20, and it reads, What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which is our God. Subject for your consideration. Time for renovation and restoration. I said time for renovation and restoration. You know, when I first began to hear about this theme, when it said Pentecost, the first thing I thought about was being on one accord. All with our minds on the same thing, our hearts in the same place, and that we can come together and give God the praise that he deserves tonight, saying. But I want to tell you that we're not all on one accord tonight because somebody still ain't with the program. I want you to know that somebody don't agree with everything that's being said in the church. But it's high time that we put our differences behind us and fall in line with God's word. Because I don't care what your title is. I don't care what your status is. But if you're not following the word of God as your leaders lead you, then I got news for you. You're walking in error. I want you to know that God put leaders on this world for a reason. You know, one thing we have sometime in the church is too many chiefs and not enough engines. But we need to see, have somebody like when it's Isaiah, when God cleansed him up, he said, Lord, he, he asked him, who can I send? Who will go for me? And he said, here I am, Lord, send me. I say that because I want you to think back, saints. 
when you first received the Holy Ghost, when you first felt that joy on the inside, when you first felt that peace on the inside, if they asked you to give you the shirt off their back, you'd have pulled it off right now. But sometime now you ask to do something, I ain't able. I got to think about it. Saints, where have we fallen from? We need to get back mm, to that old landmark. Preaching and praying, singing and shouting, everybody happy and nobody doubt. I want you to look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, what's in your building? Mm, being a contractor, it was just an easy subject for me to do. Because I come to know that sometime you'll see a beautiful building. And it looks so fine on the outside. But when you get in there to start working on the building, you find that termites done got in the wall. You find the, the foundation done sagged a little bit. But I thank God the house of God is built on the word of God. I heard when he told Peter, upon this rock, mm, I'll build my church. And the very gates of hell should not prevail against it. I want to know who's still standing on that rock. I want to know who's still willing to go if they've been called on to go. And then I went a little bit further. In the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, an old familiar subject. We, we know it well. The 20th and the 22nd verse, it said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, Long-suffering, joy, gentleness, goodness, and faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Saints of God, we need to have that real love tonight. That kind of love that'll make you go when you don't feel like going. That kind of love that'll make you forgive your brother and sister when they've done you wrong. We need the love that God had for us when he let his son die on that cross. That's true love tonight. And then I look about that joy. Somebody ought to say, I get joy when I think about mm, what it done for me. Pick me up, turn me around, set my feet on solid ground, and I'm so happy about it. But you know, sometimes we don't have that joy. We don't let somebody kill it. We don't let somebody upset our apple cart. Some people are still holding grudges and ain't let them go yet. But I want you to know if we can't get along down here, we can cancel out getting up there. Because there ain't going to be no confusion in heaven. There ain't going to be no anger and malice and jealousy in heaven. We got to get it right down here. What's in your building? And then it said peace. My Bible tell me follow peace with all men. Holiness without no man to see the Lord. I don't care how you do me, but I must try to be best to be peaceful with you. I ain't mad with nobody, saying, but the devil. I thank God for the Holy Ghost tonight. And then after Peter said, long suffering. Sometimes we get upset because people don't move when we want them to move. People don't do like we want them to do. But when you got long suffering, you don't mind waiting until God changes. Don't get on your time. It's time to get on God's time. Long suffering. I'm going to wait. I said, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on the Lord. And then I heard that goodness. We ought to greet every brother and sister with a smile. Shake their hand, ask them how they're doing. Be concerned about them. Encourage them. That's goodness, isn't it? Because we all need encouragement from time to time. And then you look around and say, after the goodness said faith. The word of God said it, and I believe it. I believe every word he said. I thank God. I was taught in this church a long time ago about following true leadership. You know, in order to be a good leader, you got to first be a good follower. You got to be able to be taught by somebody. You got to be able to walk behind somebody. When I think about leadership, I thought about Elijah and Elisha. How Elisha stuck by Elijah's side no matter where he went. And it, when, when he got ready to go back to heaven with God, his mouth fell from him because Elisha was so faithful. God gave Elijah a double portion of Elijah's spirit, and he was able to do what God would have him to do. Saints of God, you're going to reap just what you sow. If you give your leaders a hard time, somebody's going to give you a hard time. You may not always agree with what they're doing. 
You might not understand it right now, but I heard him say, obedience is better than a sacrifice. Hearken better than a fat of ram. Are you willing to do what it takes to make it in the gate? Are you willing to put, put the, your differences aside? Are you willing to do that what God asked you to do? Not because somebody did something to you, but you got, somebody got to be the bigger person. Somebody got to say, Lord, I'll go if I have to go by myself. I want you to know if you still got anger and malice in your heart for somebody. Saints, it's time to dump your trunk. It's time to get all the junk out of the way so God can step in. Holy and acceptable unto God. Except it be holy and acceptable, it won't work. Somebody said meekness. How many humble children we got in the house? How many people, when, they, when your leader chastise you, that are brisen enough, you raise up your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. How many, when they tell you you've done wrong and, and you don't want to admit it, but you got to do it anyhow? Because I want you to know there's only one right way, and that's God's way. And then I looked in there and said, temperance. <laughs> I ain't mad with nobody. Temperance means self-control. You can holler at me at the top of your lung, but you're not going to phase me. Because I got joy on the inside that just won't leave me alone. Saints of God on this journey, it's going to be trouble sometimes. You're going to have to shed some tears sometimes. You're going to have to give up the right for the wrong sometimes. But if you're willing, mm, God will take you through it. Trouble in my way, I have to cry sometimes. But I know the Jesus. I said, I know the Jesus. He'll fix it after a while. You got to wait. You got to wait on your change to come. Saints of God, if, if you got something in your heart for somebody, it's time to get rid of it. I don't care what it is. Well, you don't know what I've been through, preacher. You don't know how I've been treated. No, I don't. But God does. And there's nothing in this world that God can't fix. Well, you don't know how I've been talked about. Lied on. He said, great, blessed are ye when men speak all manner of evil against you falsely. But great is your reward. You ought to be smiling instead of frowning. Because you know, I got to the point in my life, saints, where I said, as long as they bother me, they're leaving somebody else alone. I want you to know if God brought you to it, God will bring you through it. In this pandemic, we need to get back to the old landmark. We need to get on one accord. Because we love to sing that song when all God's children get to heaven. What a time, what a time, what a time. But if we can't get together down here, if we can't love each other down here, if we can't follow our leaders down here, we can hang up getting up there. We got to do it the Bible way or no way in the midst of this pandemic because God wants us to get ready. You see, this pandemic ain't going to last always. And we around, we're, we're renovating our churches, we're fixing our churches because ain't nobody in there to get in the way. But just like the building going to look new, God's people need to look new. They need to come in with a new attitude, a new hope, a new joy, a new peace, that no matter what's going on, it's going to be all right. My Bible said resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Don't let him take a ride. Tell him he don't have no place around here. I'm bound for Mount Zion, way out on the hill. And if anybody make it, surely I will. But I got to do it. On my bending knees, calling on the name of Jesus. Sometime in the morning, mm, sometime at night, sometime in the noonday. But it's high time, hallelujah, that we turn our place back down. It's high time we go back to fasting and praying like we used to fast. Stop talking about I ain't got time, I was in a hurry, I couldn't do this and that. You do anything you want to do. And if you want to see Jesus one day, you better get on your knees and ask God to help you to make this journey. Somebody said, I'm saved now. Said, I'm saved now. And the world can't do me no harm. We thank God for the message. Mm. I was nervous as a, a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs when I got up here. But I thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for people encouraging, showing love, showing understanding. And thank God, you only, only you know how you stand with God. Only you know what's in your heart right now. Only you know what needs to be fixed. And if you let God, he'll fix it. But if you just keep going, acting like ain't nothing going on, sooner or later you'll do just like that building. 
looks so nice on the outside, but if you lean up against it, it'll fall down. Because not termite, but sin might, then got in the building and ate up the foundation, a foundation that God laid so many years ago. And if we follow God's plan, if we do things God's way, it's going to be all right. If you ain't been doing all you can do in the church, what does I mean by that? Attending your Wednesday night service. Attending your Friday night service. Attending your Sunday school. These things are important. And if you done got away from it, you need to come back to the old landmark. We need more ushers on the usher board. We meet, need those that don't mind laboring in God's house. Amen? It's, it's time is now, saying. We need more members on the choir. Because we need to lift up the name of Jesus every chance we get. Everywhere I go, King Jesus is there. And not only lift him up, but do it out of joy. I'm glad to be a member of the house of God. I'm glad to be doing God's work. Because I can say for myself, look where he brought me from. So if he tell me to go to Timbuktu, I got to go. I got to pack my bag. Because when God has done for you what he done for me, you don't mind serving him. You don't mind praising him. You don't mind going when they ask you to go. Pastor, I'm too tired. Maybe next Sunday. You don't know if you're going to see next Sunday. We better do what we need to do now. And if there's anybody in here, watching us right now. They say, no, Lord, I don't, I don't do like I used to do. I don't act like I used to act. Yeah, I say I'm saved, but some things still get me down. Some things still bother me. I want you to put them things in the past. Cast them aside. He said, lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easy to set you. Thanks to God, when we get before God, we can't tell him that nobody called, called us to miss heaven. Because God gave the power in our hand. We're the ones that are going to have to stand and be judged. I can't accuse state elders. I can't accuse the deacons. I can't accuse my wife. Because I got a free mind and a free conscience. And I chose to do what God said do. Because I found out when you're obedient to him. He said, if you be willing to be to you, eat the good of the land. And I want to be blessed and not cursed. And not only do I want to be blessed, I want my children to be blessed. I want my grandchildren to be blessed. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to please my true and living God. And if you feel likewise, and you feel the spirit, we're going to ask you to get your hearts and minds prepped for a prayer. We need Jesus right now to come in the midst and do what needs to be done. And if you can't do it here, go into your secret closet, for me. kneel in your bathroom, get on the foot of the bed, wherever you can find bend the knees. It's time that we start calling on the true and living God. Free Lord, free Lord. Why should I be bound? We're going to ask those that are set for the prayer to come at this time.
we know how. We come here right now, Lord, uh, wherever your altar is on tonight. Uh, we ask you if it's in your kitchen, go down on your knees. Uh, if it's in your bedroom, go down on your knees. Uh, if it's in your bathroom, go down on your knees. Uh, I said, Jesus, I said, Jesus, call on the name of Jesus uh, because Jesus, uh, he's a healer, he's a deliverer. Go God can fix it. He can fix this for you right now. Whatever you need. God's got it. God's got everything you need. Call on Jesus. If your heart is broken, if you're going through sorrow, if you need a healing, if you need deliverance, God got it. I said, God's got it. Somebody ought to praise him. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. All your Facebook friends. Lift up your hands. Give God the glory. Let God know that you are able and able. You are able. You are able to do all things. Exceedingly and abundantly above all things. We ought to give God some praise right now. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Right now. Clap your hands wherever you at. Wherever you at. Give God some praise. Because God is worthy. I say God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We thank and we praise God for everything that God has done. Without God, we cannot do anything. But we hallelujah. If you want the Holy Ghost, God got it. If you want to say God got it. Whatever you need, God got it right now. So we ask you to say what you need. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ask God to put it in Yes, he will. 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 Y
will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Call on Jesus. Yes, he will. Call on Jesus. Yes, he will. He'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do it right now. Yes, he will. Right now. Yes, he will. Right now. Yes, he will. Yes, right now. Yes, he will. You gotta call it. Yes, he will. 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 presence we're going to give you the benediction at this time because we have had a good time in the name of Jesus now may the Lord keep watch between me and thee when we are absent one from another in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Ghost let the church say amen amen amen, amen.